So I'm Isabel Vaughan Bruce. I'm one of the directors at March for Life. Um, so we've just been uh, commemorating the 9,789,238 children that have been aborted since the Abortion Act took place uh, 54 years ago today um, by a demonstration we've been doing here in Parliament Square. I think we wanted people to see um, what the result of that act was, that act that happened 40, 54 years ago today um, on October the 27th. You know, we were told at the time that, you know, abortion would be rare, abortion would be safe. Um, certainly not rare, as, I, as you say, ne nearly getting to 10 million now. And clearly no abortion can be safe. Every abortion ends the life of a child. But also in some of the other posters that we had displayed here, we were showing that abortion isn't safe for women either. Um, one of the statistics that we saw um, showed how each month 495 women who've um, had a medical abortion end up needing to go to hospital for treatment. And that, that's a really shocking figure um, considering how common medical abortions are. Um, and last year there were um, over 72,000 home abortions. Again, very unsafe for women. These are women who are having abortions without ever having had a face-to-face -face appointment, never having a scan, um, <coughs> they're, they're trying to date their own pregnancies and they're left to manage their pregnancies in the isolation of their own bedrooms and bathrooms and ultimately disposing of their own dead children. Um, this isn't doing women any service at all, this isn't doing a service to teenagers who are often going through this process alone. Um, this is something shocking and something that our nation should be ashamed of and certainly be seeking to change. One of the important things about a day like this is, is creating awareness and just getting people to think about the issue. Um, reason is on our side. You know, anyone who is able to reason should be able to see that killing a child isn't the way to solve a problem. So yeah, this day was a, a really good success and um, brought a lot of pro-life groups together so together that we can build up the pro-life community and keep working to make sure that that figure doesn't reach 10 million um, and that we can end this abortion law in our land um, so that abortion ultimately becomes an unthinkable um, decision that, are, that women have another choice to make, that are given real alternatives to abortion.